Hey there, it's early on a Sunday evening, got a little work in today and figured it would be a great time to tell you all about my fur baby Jojo here. Now while I do truly miss going into the office to be able to work alongside my colleagues in person, no doubt the biggest perk ever of working from home is getting to have her as my coworker. Now get ready for some cuteness overload. Say hello to my 12-year-old Yorkie Jojo. She's pretty much the center of my entire universe. My husband and I were high school sweethearts and he surprised me with Jojo when we were dating. Pretty adorable, right? She lived with my parents when I went off to college and stayed with them when I moved out to California to start my career with IBD. So all in all, I had to wait 10 years before I was able to reunite with her and become her full-time dog mom. Now that we're together, it's like we're making up for lost time. And I can confidently say that we are totally attached at the hip. She's the absolute best companion in my new work from home reality. Since she's getting to be on the older side, she sleeps quite a bit, which is great because I'm on camera several hours a day, every day of the working week. Jojo is quite the diva dog though and loves getting attention between live shows and meetings and admittedly sometimes during them too. But she's also a great lookout, always making sure to let me know whenever there's mail or a delivery or someone at the front door. During my shows and interviews, we've only had a few barking and whining incidents over the last year. So overall, I'd say her track record is pretty good. I'll admit, sometimes I do have to bribe her with a bone and that usually works. But there was this one time I was getting ready to start a CEO interview and right when I hit record, I start hearing her bark from somewhere in the house. Can you guys hear my dog barking? Of course, that happened the second Perfect. we started. It's okay. Luckily, the executive that I was interviewing was totally chill and understanding about it, but I was so embarrassed. It's rare when things do go wrong, but I feel like nowadays it's pretty much the norm when you hear a dog occasionally barking during a meeting or even interviews that you see on TV, right? Right? Right, Jojo? Now she lays next to me in my office for most of the day, but her absolute favorite spot in the house is this couch right here. So I do find myself working from here from time to time in addition to drinking my morning coffee right from this spot. Having her is also great because it forces me to go outside and get some fresh air after I've been staring at my computer screen for hours and hours on end. We go on long walks before the workday starts and after it ends, and sometimes, depending on how the day is going, we're able to sneak in a short walk during lunchtime as well. Well, that's probably more than you ever cared to know about little Miss Jojo here, but she truly is such a huge part of my life and literally right next to me throughout the entire day while I'm working. Now it's your turn. Do you have a pet as a coworker? Tell me about a funny or embarrassing story that you've had with your pet while trying to work from home. Want to hear it? Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more investing content headed at you and some behind the scenes stuff along the way as well. Say bye bye, Jojo. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, Jojo. Ha <laughs> ha.